Hi Libra, welcome to your Week Ahead Horoscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share and hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, thank you so much for all of your continued support. It truly means the world. If you haven't seen it yet, your 2019 forecast is up and out there for your viewing pleasure. And before we start, I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. Let's see what the week ahead has in store for you. So uh, what are you releasing, removing or letting go of this week? Um, let's have a look. And this week you get the Ten of Swords. This is great, actually, as something that you're letting go of. It kind of feels to me like, Libra, this week you get your mojo back, this week you get your power back. Uh, you know, when you're letting go of the Ten of Swords, it means you're letting go of the depression, it means you're letting go of the anxiety. It means that you are actually moving into a space now of true personal understanding. When you come through the process of the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Swords as an experience is complete and utter shit. Let's be completely honest, right? And the Ten of Swords very often, once it passes us, it leaves us changed. But I always believe this leaves us changed in the best way because it means that you are so much stronger and so much more equipped for anything and everything else that comes at you in life. And the fact that you're letting go of the Ten of Swords, it feels to me like some story or some part of a story of your life in terms of a hurt, in terms of a trauma, you are ready to move past this week. It's almost like you're saying, right, you know what? I can separate who I want to be and who I'm creating myself to be from who I was and what I have been through and what I have been and you know what I've experienced and that is a very very powerful place to be in um so you know it looks like Libra Libra is leading the way this week you are showing us how it's done and that is pretty awesome um so what are you working on now what is the meat of the matter or the bulk of the week this week you have the Four of Wands, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. You really couldn't ask for any more of this. It's kind of like out of the darkness and into the light, um, which I really, really love, you know? And because in terms of what you're working on now, the Four of Wands is about celebration. It's about happier times, but it's also about foundation stability. And this for me feels very much like now that you're separating who you were and what you've been through from who you choose to be and what you choose to have in your life, you can now really set about out, going to get it and it feels like this week you are staking some sort of claim and saying right okay this is where I stand and that's where I want to be and how am I going to bridge the gap between the two it's kind of like you've got both feet on terra firma you are standing you know stern and strong within yourself and you can see it's almost like you've got a glimpse of exactly where you're heading now that you've come through this I kind of feel like you know it's that whole Kelly Clarkson song what doesn't kill you makes you stronger <laughs> uh, you know, it's got that kind of energy to it, which I think is absolutely brilliant. So what are you welcoming in this week? What is the, you know, the, what's the, the next thing to be starting to work on? The Magician card. I mean, really, you couldn't ask for any more than this. So the Magician talks about you communicating your truth. It talks about you coming from your own point of reference, which has shifted who you were, or the, rather the story that you're telling the world in relation to yourself has shifted, has changed. Your understanding of yourself has changed because of the trials and tribulations that you've pushed through, that you've worked through. And now that you're coming out of it on the other side, you are able to stand there as the magician and say, you know what, even the 10 of swords couldn't take me down. What the fuck do you have? What have you got? Nothing. And, you know, sorry to get about it, but when you see, if you could see this the way that I'm feeling it, this is about a personal evolution that's taking place. And when you can stand on top of your history, instead of allowing it to stand on top of you, that's when you become a magician because you have transmuted the energy, with, I got goosebumps, that you have transmuted the energy within you to become exactly what it is that you feel you can be without allowing anything or anyone from your past to stand in your way of achieving it, of really choosing to achieve and have it in this lifetime, you know, not racking up karma for the next lifetime. 
and all of that stuff you know uh, this is about starting to achieve it now and putting the things in place that you need to in order to make this happen i wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff have an amazing week and i will see you very soon for more videos um also if you would like to book a personal tarot reading with me you can do so on the website address below take care i'll see you soon